the road. The world outside. The rush. The hush. Get set. Let's ride. West Coast Harley Davidson dealership here in Glasgow, about to start the North Coast 500. We're going to be riding these new live wires, fully electric motorbikes from Harley Davidson. And of course, we're wearing our trusted Bellstaff motorbike clothing. Really in check. Yeah, copy that. Let's hit the road. So it's day one, we've got everything on board, and now we need to eat up some miles and get onto the North Coast 500 route. Luckily, it's an amazing journey up through Glencoe and Fort William before we have our first overnight stay somewhere near the Isle of Skye. It's the perfect way to get to know these incredible machines. You a great score. We get around 100 miles on each charge. It's pretty cold today, which reduces the range a little bit, so we're going to need to stop to top up the batteries at various charge points along the route. And of course, every night we'll get the bikes plugged into the mains so we have them fully juiced for the next day. Tomorrow, we've got some mountain pass that I think is going to be pretty breathtaking. So yesterday on Glencoe, we had 100 miles on the tank. Now we've got 108 miles. This is so far north, and because it's the middle of winter, uh, it's nearly 8 o'clock in the morning and it's still pitch black. Embarking in the darkness, the morning masked by night. Then marvel at the starkness, uncovered by the light. The wilderness is calling, adventure drenched terrain. The drama deep, enthralling. The charm of the untamed. This is our first proper uphill, windy road section of the trip. Travelling up this pass has been amazing. Amazing. <laughs> amazing, way beyond what we thought. Bikes just so light, so responsive. This journey was always about exploring a landscape that is surprisingly unfamiliar. We've been to loads of far off places around the world, but this time we're getting the same thrill of seeing something new and exciting around each corner, and we're actually still so close to home. Yeah, just uh, thinking about what life might have been like 400 years ago. I bet you 400 years ago the scenery would be exactly the same. I wonder how long it will be until people look at our motorbikes for riding and going, look, that's what we used to ride. And now we're on hoverboards. So we've been making good progress up the west coast and the plan is to make it up to the north coast tonight and find somewhere to camp. First, we're going over the Carleski Bridge, which we've heard is pretty spectacular. Where stories seep like wishes, while stoic stone withstands, and rivers carve their fissures through noble, ancient lands. While lochs and glens and granite keep watch before your eyes, where hills are ruled by proud red deer and eagles rule the skies. It's wild but not forbidden, this world through which we glide. <laughs> Inscribed with concrete ribbons, inviting us to write. With grateful admiration for those who paved the way, to whose determination we owe this ride today. The 
there's something pretty special about waking up here. Looking out over the sea, knowing there's literally nothing out there until you get to the North Pole. That's why we do these trips, for moments and places like these. You've got to come prepared if you want to be comfortable up here. The weather changes in an instant. We've had biting winds, torrential rain, then gorgeous blue skies. It's like we've been on a transcontinental expedition over the last couple of days in just a few hundred miles. Luckily, we've got all the right equipment to be able to survive and thrive out here. It's now time to push on east to John O'Groats and then turn back south to Inverness, which is the traditional end of the North Coast 500. The landscape's very different on this side. It's much less rugged and a lot more inhabited too. Although you leave no traces, the act of passing through makes you a part of this place and it a part of you. We'll ride until the road ends, immersed in timeless scenes. Lost in the right direction, for that's what freedom means.